some new enemies that will Okay, see me so we're finally at the new stuff after about 45 okay. minutes. Or what the frick is that? New war exploration. Um, is that like a sentient cultist? Is what is that? But yeah, um, here I am. Hopefully they show off the Lux skins. Players who've been very patient with us in that regard. Um, yeah, so we're going to be seeing some new... Uh, we, we're, we have to be a little vague here, I apologize, but... Um, these guys do have a very specific function uh, in the new war. And, um, oh, yeah? Yeah, I think one of the hints is, is this isn't how you'd normally see this. Yeah. This is, <laughs> it's doing something a little scary right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what, what is it? And then, uh, oh, who, What the who frick? Is oh, my God, that's oh, Ballas. <laughs> <laughs> he looks a little familiar. So do we have some Orokin enemies, or uh, what the frick? Yeah, so he's, of course, um, our boy is going to play... A pretty big role in, in the war that's coming. Oh boy. Um, is he an enemy or? Back, I guess. You know, he's, it's hard uh, to say if he's a bad guy or not. Kind of a, like kind of embraced <laughs> yeah, follows the priest. Well, embrace to agree. I think he's uh, he's living a bit of a deceit. I think I love I love how Keith is trying to work in Dallas trying to get some of his uh, symmetrical beauty back with the prosthetic leg. He's trying, but um, I don't know if it's working. Uh, so. Yeah, Ballas is trying to uh, embrace this new form he has and uh, be, a, be a presence. In the sort of interesting because in this case it's, it's sort of a character in the but world yeah pretty cool look, cool Almost looking i gotta say himself because it's sort of him figuring out his new style and this new this new kind of um uh, uh costume and everything so uh and that's gonna run through it's a, a costume so it's, it's kind of fun because i'm almost designing as though i'm ballast inside the inside the world We've entered uh, Ballas's new groove, essentially, yeah. is what I'm hearing. <laughs> oh, good And grief. I feel like the levels of Ballas transformations that have happened are reaching, like, Dragon Ball Z levels. Pretty so. good, yeah. <laughs> I'm mostly just here for the Deluxe skins, by the way. I'm hoping Volt Deluxe is a thing. Actually, quite something interesting that I've noticed. In both the, the previous enemy and with Ballas, we see this weapon, so... Um, mm. I, I, the players would have probably put that together, but uh, is this going to be something that players will receive or i mean what would we ideally, use for yes ideally we that's something we like to do you know when, when you see something what is it even like, supposed to be kind of looks like a bow turned uh, into a blade find a way to make sure it's a reward and but specifically with the current function that this is going down likely you would get a modified version and okay this this next <laughs> concept uh i don't have an introduction for other than wow and what am i looking at <laughs> What yeah, the so frick cool. is that thing? So cool. It's so cool. It's like a Gorgon uh, snake uh, thing. Like we've already seen a new enemy type. What I is that? This is probably a bit more of a sub boss. Um, uh, and is, this okay, is maybe it's sentient. Um, Looks like a war thing that got corrupted. The, war and the, the kind of uh, troops he's building. Uh, and the body that uh, you're seeing with the attachment on it. Um, is a is a repurposed uh, prime warframe. A repurposed uh, so prime warframe. Some warframes and modifying them. Uh, oh boy. To, to be some of his minions. Well, added, uh, that's not good. Cool explorations here. Wouldn't that imply Ballas is allied with Era? Like we'll see how far we get with those designs, but I still really love the the thought insight into them. Yeah, there's sort of, there's sort of a, a mechanical thing, both in the gameplay and, and the theme of it with those guys. But they they they're reminiscent, hopefully, of the, of something we're familiar with already, which are the Bombalists. And these are kind of a tangential uh, entity, uh, similar to the Bombalists, oh boy. but with their own. Yeah, their that own can't be good. This, oh this, man, uh, this character, this design. Um, and they're potentially going to actually... Also, the audio is... We were warned the audio would be kind of uh, jittery. It's pre-recorded, so there's nothing that can be done about it. So if anybody's wondering, that's why. But uh, anyway. Maybe it's a corrupted wisp. How many are left? How many do I have to worry about coming? That kind of thing. So but, the Archons yeah. are basically just Vombalus taxis. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's all they do. Yeah. Vombalus taxis. Yeah. What, one, of the tr one of the interesting things about this I, I wrestled with was um, kind of the notes for this was there would be a, sort of a, a snake theme. Um, and when I was addressing it, one of the things I absolutely love oh, about boy. the Warframe universe is... It's basically a prime Warframe turned into a Gorgon. Um, it's not like snakes like we're or a snake of some sorts. Snakes are totally different now. So I'm That's trying to keep it as kind of otherworldly and whatever we might call a snake that far flung into the future. Yeah. I'm excited to make weapons for it. Yeah. <laughs> I was oh, just about boy. to ask you, Kaz, because um, I know you have an affinity and a love for like infested weapons, mm -hmm. and this is oh, definitely boy. giving me like 
big sentient arm gun vibes <laughs> that we showed last year. Yeah. Uh, Maybe. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to mm -hmm. see. So here is oh. our first look at the next Warframe. And, Whoa, uh, the next Warframe? Kind of here, what the frick? Who's we're that? Entering, or we're adding essentially to our very small roster of sentient Warframes. Or sentient kind of like okay, so we have another sentient Warframe. Warframes, of course. Remnant, Remnant has competition. The, uh, the Eidolon uh, sentient kind of energy. What the frick is this Warframe. thing? So we've entered a new stage, I guess, of Warframe sentient. <laughs> Bilas arm. Yeah, and, and to be totally uh, like upfront about it, like this was actually um, Keith is amazing. At like every once in a while, every time like there's occasionally over the years he'll just say, hey, hey, by the way, here's 20 Warframe ideas, and like, oh, my, like god. oh my god, and they're all amazing. Oh and, wow, Jeff said uh, that at the same time I did. I don't know what this is uh, about, quite honestly, but it looks kind of ago. interesting. And, it, 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 it re, I yeah, and an Algum theme? Is that what they're going for? Is it like a Warframe sentient the hybrid? Of the new war, and especially with what we were just talking about with what Era's doing with Warframes. Um, that, uh, I thought it was a new war, enemy, but no. A for a blueprint, um, we, it, would, it, it, would, it would fit the, the theme really well to, to, to execute on this Warframe. So, um, you know, there's probably going to be some adjustments we have to make in the 3D mesh for the, the skeleton, but... Um, but yeah, I think uh, I think it's really great to kind of tie this one in. I always like the kind of hybrid warframes too. Yeah, who knows? Like, should we really? Trust we'll find out later, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, a little bit, a little bit iffy. And I'm seeing a very interesting weapon being held, and I'm assuming this is going to be his signature weapon, as as we release warframes, it typically come with their signature weapon. So Kaz is this. Are we going to be exploring a little bit more of this kind of like staff, I guess, style? Is this is this what we would consider that a staff? Maybe it's maybe a scythe type weapon. Yeah, I was kind of maybe guessing it's either a scythe or a staff. Just to make it work within. Because within yeah, a spooky scythe, scythe weapon does sound kind of scary. Kind of like the, where it strikes. And maybe a sentient scythe of some sort. Some so. to the head, but I don't know. Okay. It's either a scythe or a staff, uh, so or now we're it's it's probably a scythe. I'm being honest, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's a staff. What the and, heck? Uh, what I guess oh, hey, sentient armor. Uh, evolving armor. Looks pretty neat, actually. Sentient armor. I guess, Kaz, Kaz, you could speak more to this. How does yeah, it evolve, so though? Uh, Can I just get the third one? Of our quests, there's going to be a reward of this armor set. And as you complete oh, a certain yes. goal, you get rewarded with the, the different forms of it. So wow. in a sense, it's evolving. Just, I don't know. Have each of each version of this in your arsenal by the time you're done with it. Oh, all right. Well, that's a new so armor set for me to use, and it's attainable pretty easily. Your, your I hope. In the game, and we're getting into some weapons. A sentient bow. This what? is just incredible. Look at that. Yeah, a, Minash really blew it that it uh, kind of looks like. Uh, one is, one of his reminds me a bit of Link's uh, first, bow, sort of, awesome. except with the ancient it's, arrows. Kind of reminds me of that a little bit. The sentient bow. Now that's neat. Kind of state where the bow is kind of smaller. But then, when you're aiming, the the tendrils what the kind frig? of it shrinks. And the whole thing wow. Kind of focuses down to Very interesting. So It'll actually effect. shrink as you're about to fire it, and, and then uh, rapidly expands again. Sort of thing going on. Uh, and then uh, we're moving on to a little deluxe segment here. Oh, so deluxe! Yeah. I swear to God, go. Volt here's Deluxe. A, here's a concept. Volt Deluxe. Of the Volt, oh, uh, kinda, a Volt Deluxe. Oh, weekend, a deluxe oh shit! Finally, it sucked for twenty thousand years, but holy shit! Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, about, actually. Uh, wow. Oh. 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 Oh, Vault Deluxe is a thing. Yes, I asked for this like three months ago. We're moving on to oh, a deluxe game for I was waiting for this. Yeah. It actually doesn't look too bad. I didn't really get a chance to analyze it, but I thought it looked pretty good. Oh, thank you. About time. It looks solid from what we saw of it for a moment there, but it went by so quickly that I didn't really have the time to further analyze it. But it looks and solid. So I think it looks pretty good. It's so. Oh, jeez. Look, I think it already like it's the proto skin is not bad, but I think this yeah, one is one I might consider using in the future. But I need to see more of it. I'm pretty sure I poked Rev. Oh my god. And yeah, I also <laughs> looked at the Twitch chat, and overall they seem to be pleased with it. So that's good. Looks like they did it this time. 
Oh, yeah, yeah there's again, Portilla Deluxe. Probably just just a quick note, this was leaked. Really I'm kind of glad Volt Deluxe was spared. A lot of quick but yeah, Jeff, as well, just promised. Thanks, Jeff. Really fast, for clarification, I'm the one who asked about Volt Deluxe. Really so I, this is why I'm super hyped, because we finally get to see it. And Volt then, gets more love. Again, we're finally. On one more Deluxe. Oh my god, that's all I wanted to hear. That's all I wanted to hear. Finally, Volt gets an update, and it doesn't look too bad. I didn't get a chance to see it. Kind of looked like there was some golden hair, or sorry, sorry not golden hair, but some hair going. Oh, and Baruch Deluxe. That doesn't look too bad, actually. It kind of has a monk theme. I think it's like a satyr. Uh, wow. Haru actually approached us, I believe, the helmet is, well, it's pretty good, I'd say, but I like, I like where they're going I, I with this. Baruch, and oh, and you I can see the hands kind of just, that, just there. Um, I think it's fine. And, uh, like, not too bad overall, but oh like, my yes, god, thank you. Bolt Deluxe is not yeah, a myth I'm, anymore. I'm really oh, that man. So, that made like, my I'm day. Because I actually have to leave a, in about a couple hours, so I'm glad that they showed this on the art stream and not during uh, Tenor Live. Because I knew work and wait. This was huge for me. And again, I will analyze it later. I'll look into it um, later. Maybe yeah, after this, I'll have some time to go back and look at it. But oh my god. And Sorry about that. We're, we're at the end There's of the more? panel. Is there another one? There, the, oh, no, no. There, the, we're done with the deluxe skins. Oh, okay. Well, God, we're, I, we're I, got, I got my Volt Deluxe, <laughs> and it looks solid. We're not done with our, it actually our looks pretty good, but I didn't get a chance uh, to see it outside of just that drawing. I didn't have enough time. I forgot what it is. Oh, totally finally. <laughs> Both gets more <laughs> love. <laughs> yeah. He's my favorite <laughs> Warframe, and he's just been kind of, at least in my opinion, kind of just well, ignored. Yeah. So, a, well, let me just see. Let me look at some of the comments uh, here on the left here, if this would stop nice. scrolling for a moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> and technically, no, he didn't. Oh, he uh, he, he kind of yeah, got yes. one, but he needed another one. <laughs> that was a proto you. skin. That's different. <laughs> also, oh, okay, here's Nidus Prime, which uh, so cool too, it's, um, looks kind of spooky. I mean, so now that I've seen the concert art, it looks uh, better. It was like This running, was also leaked as well, uh, but it's not too bad. I mean, they could have maybe done a little bit more with this, but I like the Prime when he's fully infested from his his power-up or gimmick. Or sorry, his main passive or whatever. I do like that when he has full stacks, he looks like that. That looks pretty good. His space form is okay, but I think it looks a little bit too much like regular Nidus. Yeah, the gold parts at least make him different, but they could have done a little bit more with this, in my opinion. Just a little bit more. It's overall not too bad, though. So... Nidus, right? Absolutely. So yep. Anyway, uh, yeah. A lovely full circle. So moment. this is gonna end at around 3:15-ish. It might end a little earlier because the community stream is really coming nice up pretty soon. So I will go back again. and look at this yeah, probably know, in a separate um, video, I've seen players or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, coming up, and they've asked about how the lore works. And, so. Uh, but Volt Deluxe exists, cool, like, and he doesn't like look a, too bad. Means, I wish I could have seen more of it, but it just went by too quickly. I only had a bit of time to look at it, but it doesn't look too bad. Because I kind of, I think I see what they were trying to go for with it, but I just did not have enough time to look into um, it. Um, there is some and yeah, you have the deluxe if you guys really just want to keep the regular Nidus, uh, or if you have uh, Nidus Prime, you can just switch uh, so to we'll the deluxe. See, we are gonna work out some so more this isn't too bad. I think it's but, decent. Uh, his his form yeah, when he's fully, he's yeah. got enough stacks is not too bad. I like where they were going with it, but overall, it's okay. I think he has a concept. They could have they could have done a little bit better with it, in my opinion. Yeah, then when he's he has full stacks, he looks he looks intimidating. Um, he actually looks yeah. really nice when he has full stacks, but outside of that, it's just he looks whatever in base form. So you can kind of see the. Oh, um, there's the Nidus Prime helmet, which again working. looks better. Uh, the one thing when uh, if, he has full uh, stacks, image, but you have to have full stacks. It, you get this really That's the thing. Uh, sense of depth. Um, there's just these really but incredible. Layers yeah, Nidus playing. Prime is a thing after the quite a while, gold, but uh, yeah. The gold bits kind of working their anyway, way. we'll see how much longer this is going to go for. I'm probably going to pause in just a bit here, but... Oh, sorry, I'm still trying to get over Volt Deluxe. <laughs> I got that bit of news, so I'm happy. And I just didn't get enough time to look at it. For our Nidus players out there, because it's very so. important. And also for Megan. She yeah. Uh, but she better respect Megan. the fashion. <laughs> primed she Megan? What? What's right? going on? Okay. <laughs> you know, I don't want, like, the... Anyway, I don't know what else they're going to show after this. I think they pretty <laughs> much have covered everything. Because you know, 3.15 like, or so is when the art stream's over. Also, well, what's going on with Keith? <laughs> I mean, is it just me or, or is it just a visual bug? Uh, kind of looked like he was wearing like a screen projector on his face for a second. I was so confused. <laughs> we are priming, we are priming <laughs> the maggots, as I understand. So they'll it sounds like they're saying prime. Oh, I see. They're priming his, <laughs> yeah, ma his so signature maggots uh, that help so them out. Kind of like. Um, 
Because his mag gets help out in battle kind of anyway. Like playing like the inside, inside base. Yeah. Playing Whatever those right. are gonna look like. Oh, okay. As soon as I say that, it kind of looks like Excalibur's helmet, <laughs> so sort of. I mean, it's really it, it's decent. It's distinct enough, I guess. But I got <laughs> nothing else to say. Incredible. Pretty. Incredible. Also, pretty easy. Uh, we are just showing the the helmet model huh? here. Uh, definitely tune in to Tano Live, the end of our TennoCon day. To see the full reveal of yeah. Magus Prime. Yeah, I'll My take a look at it in game. Although I'm, well, actually, I'll be probably out, out of here because I, I gotta go to a, go eat dinner. I'm going out, so. So both of his. Okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna pause and then I will come back in just a little bit. I want to see what other people think about it. So. Or actually, I don't know if I can because they're still showing new stuff. We have the weapons that typically was originally released with the Warframe, which, like Kaz, as you mentioned, was Why? the Hima and the Harudu. But given the infested nature of the weapons, are we... Speaking of the Hima, can, we, can it be easier to get? Because no, I don't have it still. Have it's really bad when you, if you're in a dojo. Yeah, so we're not going to be doing the infested stuff, but instead we're going to be going kind of back to our... Hima Prime? ...finding some really old weapons. What? So, I'm sure there's going to be some lore reasons for that. <laughs> uh, what ones? <laughs> to be determined. Hema Prime? To, uh, Except maybe Hema Prime will be easier to get than Hema. Hema Prime actually release. And, uh, Keith, I don't know if you had oh, any Oh, no Hema Prime? The, the okay. Prime well, kind of makes sense, I guess, here, just because of how hard it is to get. It's always probably. fun to see infested stuff come back. It's like you get to, All right, you know what? You I'm to be right back. back. Oh, okay. It looks um, like they wrapped up. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here for now, but I'll see you all a little later. Uh, bye, everybody. As the quest progressed, we got to learn.